Well, in this screencast, we'll continue our discussion of linear programming and talk about uh, how to graph solutions to systems of linear inequalities and to uh, variables. So, in uh, linear programming, uh, feasible sets, uh, you may want to review the uh, previous uh, screencast, um, uh, the part, uh, the second part of uh, uh, our mini series on linear programming. So, the feasible uh, sets uh, for linear programming uh, problems are. Um, uh, defined uh, and by uh, linear uh, or systems of uh, linear inequalities. So uh, this is uh, what we covered in the uh, previous uh, screencast uh, on linear programming. So um, if you have a, uh, a feasible set, uh, right, then uh, it is defined uh, by a system of uh, linear inequalities. So um, uh, there are um, uh, two approaches uh, to uh, finding uh, those feasible sets, um, uh, geometric and uh, uh, algebraic. Uh, so in this screencast we'll focus on uh, uh, the geometric, mm, one geometric uh, way. Um, a method uh, to um, uh, uh, solving uh, systems of uh, linear inequalities. And so, uh, generally speaking, this uh, algorithm uh, uh, consists of uh, uh, several steps. This is a geometric uh, algorithm. Uh, given a system of uh, linear inequalities uh, for each uh, inequality, Um, we uh, will uh, graph it. So graph, um, graph the inequality um, uh, by graphing its uh, boundary uh, lines. You may want to review the uh, again in the previous uh, uh, part of this uh, 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 mini series. We uh, talked about uh, boundary uh, lines and feasible sets. Uh, so, um, so we're going to graph the boundary line and uh, find uh, the half plane uh, that uh, satisfies the inequality. So this is the first step, and once um, uh, we have graphed, uh, each uh, boundary line and found uh, the half plane uh, that satisfies it, then uh, the feasible set is found, well if there is one, um, by finding the uh, intersection is the intersection of um, all the half planes. So that's the uh, outline of the algorithm. Okay, uh, let's go through some uh, concrete examples. Um, so in the first example, um, let's uh, take a simple system of uh, linear inequalities, uh, 4x plus uh, 2y less than or equal to 8. Then, uh, so that's a system of one linear inequalities. So the boundary line uh, is uh, 4x plus 2y equals a. So the, um, this is inequality and this is the boundary line that uh, dissects mm, uh, the 2D plane into uh, uh, two half planes. So let's um, divide everything by 2. Uh, so divide throughout by 2, 2x plus uh, y equals 4. So y equals minus 2x plus 4. Okay, then we'll uh, sketch a graph. x, y. Okay, so this is um, 4. 1x equals uh, 0, so, and then uh, um, 1y equals 0, x is equal to 2, so this is the line, uh, y equals minus 2x plus 4, 
and uh, so this is the first half plane and then this is the second half plane and now we have to decide which one uh, satisfies the uh, inequality so we just take one uh, point on one side of uh, um, the line well in uh, the first half plane um, and then see if it uh, satisfies the inequality right so uh, 4 times 2 plus uh, 2 times 2 uh, less uh, equals um, 8 plus 4 mm, so and so it's 12 and it's obviously false right 12 is uh, not less than or equal to 8 so this is not the half plane uh, that satisfies the uh, inequality so let's take 0 0 and we see that uh, since this point uh, satisfies the inequality so 4 times 0 plus 2 times 0 less than or equal to 8 so the second half plane does satisfy the inequality so okay so let's um, go over another example so here's the problem. A biker on a long training uh, route needs snacks with at least 800 calories. The biker's diet consists of nuts and raisins. The nuts have 120 calories per ounce and the raisins have 80 calories per ounce. Find the system of inequalities that specify the biker's uh, caloric requirements. So let's um, take X to uh, B ounces of um, nuts and uh, y to be uh, the number of ounces of raisins so x is uh, greater than or equal to zero and uh, y will be uh, greater than or equal to zero that's just the common sense constraint on the feasible set that satisfies uh, this problem and the uh, total calories can be um, the total number of calories can be uh, computed as 120 times x so the nuts have 120 calories per ounce plus um, 80 time uh, times y so this is uh, 80 calories per ounce so uh, the set of inequalities uh, is x greater than or equal to zero y uh, is greater than or equal to zero and then a hundred and uh, 120 times x plus 80 y greater than or equal to 800 So let's uh, do some graphs. Um, graphing. So 120 times x plus 80 times y equals um, 80. So let's divide by 10. 12x plus 8y equals 80. So let's divide by 4. 3x plus 2y equals 20. So let's graph the these inequalities. So to y is equal to minus three x um, plus twenty. So y is equal to minus 3 over 2x plus 10 so if x is equals to 0 then y is equal to 10 and then x um, has to be equal to 20 over uh, 3 when y 
uh, then y is going to be equal to 0. So it's about uh, 6.7 approximately. So 20 over 3. Okay. So and this is the line. Well, it's supposed to be a line. It does look like a line, but it is a line. So let's uh, draw uh, the solution to x greater than or equal to 0. This is the half plane that satisfies the first inequality. Then uh, let's graph y is greater than or equal to 0. Then let's test uh, 0, so uh, 0 doesn't satisfy, so this is the half plane that satisfies mm, this inequality. Okay. So the feasible set is the intersection, which is going to be this. Right. The intersection of red, yellow, and uh, green lines. So this is the this is the solution. Okay, and uh, let's do um, another example. x uh, greater than or equal to 1. x is less than or equal to uh, 2y and uh, 3x plus 4y is less than or equal to um, 12. Alright, so let's draw um, the system of coordinates. So this is uh, x equals 1, the boundary line for the first inequality. Then uh, let's do the boundary line for the second inequality. Mm, x equals 2y, uh, y equals uh, half x. So it's going to be, um, so for 2 is, uh, when x is 2, y is 1. All right, so it's going to go like this. So this is x equals 1, and this is y equals uh, half x. And then we have uh, the third uh, inequality, 3x plus 4y is less than or equal to 12. So uh, let's regroup it a bit. Um, uh, 4y equals minus 3x plus 12, y equals minus uh, th uh, 3 quarters of x uh, plus 3. Okay, and um, so let's graph that. Uh, so this is when x is 4, y will be 0, and uh, when x is 0, y is uh, 3. So this is the line okay, that goes through these two uh, light brown points. So this is y equals minus 3 quarters of x plus 3, the third boundary line. And now we can, all right, so this is the half plane um, that satisfies the third constraint. We can just take a point in this half plane, any point in this half plane except the line, uh, except the one on the line, and uh, to see that this is the half plane that satisfies this uh, inequality, the third inequality, this is the half plane that satisfies the first inequality. All right, so x greater than or equal to 1. And uh, then we're going to graph um, 
the half plane that satisfies uh, the third inequality, which is this. And as you can see, yes, so these are red lines. As you can see, the mm, intersection of the three half planes will be this triangle. Okay, with uh, three corner points. Okay, these are three corner points um, that can be computed by simple geometric methods. Okay, well, this is to be continued. Thanks for watching.